First, you need to connect your miner to the internet. Find the router in your house. Take an ethernet cable, plug it into an ethernet slot onto your router, and then you gotta run the other end of the cable down to your miner or wherever the miner's located in your house. In my case, drill the hole through the floor to get to the basement to where my miner's located. Now take the other end of your ethernet cable and run it into the ethernet port into the back of your miner. Now that your ethernet cable is plugged in, we're gonna plug our miner into the wall. Plug it into the wall, into the back of your miner, flip the switch on to power it on. Some miners have a switch to power it on, and some don't. The S19s, you just plug and play and it fires up on its own. You need to make sure you have your miner powered on so you can log into the dashboard. Next, from our computer, we're going to make a new slush pool account. So go to slushpool.com and in the top right hand corner click on sign up, put in your email, make a username, we're going to need that username for a later step, make your passwords and then click sign up at the bottom. Once you click sign up you're going to get an activation email from Slushpool confirming your account. After the account is made we're just going to log into it. I'm going to click log in, put in my credentials, and click log in. Now that I'm logged into my slush pool dashboard, I'm just going to leave that aside. So there's no confusion. Next step we're going to need to do is download a tool called Angry IP Scanner. So you can go into Google, type in Angry IP Scanner, and click on this link right here. From here, you're going to click on the green free download button. Then you're going to select your operating system. For me, that was Windows. I'm going to click on the Windows installer. Go through the simple steps. It's a small program. Install it on your computer. Once it's installed, you're going to open it up. And you're going to click on the green start play button here. Once you open it up on your screen, you're not going to have a list of any of these. It's just going to be a blank white screen. Click start. Then we're going to do a scan. This is going to get us the IP addresses so that we can log into our miner. Now on occasion, um, Angry IP Scanner even though your miner is connected to the internet, won't immediately locate it. Sometimes you might need to do this two or three times, stopping, starting, and refreshing this in order to get it to show up. But it will eventually show up. All right, so this scan was good. And you can see here I have my Avalon miner connected as well as my Ant miner. So first we're going to start with the Avalon. Where I have highlighted blue, click on that. We're going to copy this IP address. And now we're just going to, so it's not confusing, I'll just get a nice clear window here for you. Okay, now we're just going to put that into the address bar, click paste. Hit enter. That's going to bring us on to the Avalon login page. Username by default is root and password is typically root as well. So for me, root and root, click login. That's gonna bring us on to the main dashboard of my Avalon miner. Now I'm gonna show you how to get into your ant miner. It's the same process. Highlighted blue here. Double click on it, copy its IP address, open up a new window, 
and paste into the address bar. That came up a little bit glitchy here on the left hand side, but that's totally fine. Again, username root, password root, and then you can sign in the dashboard of your miner. Both very similar on your Avalon on the left hand side of the page, you're going to see some options. We're going to click on configuration. And same thing with the app miner from this dashboard. We're going to click on settings. I'm going to make these blank so you don't get confused and show you the next steps. Okay, I got a blank in my app miner. This is what yours is going to look like. Okay, now we're going to go back into slush pool. On the main dashboard of slush pool, on the left hand side, you're going to click on workers. Now, on the right-hand side of the page, you're going to click on the purple icon that says Connect Workers. Now, pick your most uh, applicable location to what country you're in. In my case, I'm in Canada, so I'm going to click on Ca Canada as my primary pool location. Once I've clicked on Canada, again, I'm going to highlight and copy the link. Don't put this number one part in, that will mess it up. So just this part of the link, copy it, and then we're going to go back into our Avalon device, and that's going to go in the top blank bar, in this case pool zero, paste it. And the same thing if we're using an ant miner, paste it. Okay, next you can use backup pools. So that can either be USA, can be Japan, Russia, whatever it may be. For the sake of demonstration, I'm just going to use Europe. Again, copy its link, put it into the second blank bar, in this case, pool one, and then our ant miner, pool two. And finally, we're going to do this a third time. So this time, I'm just going to pick general. Copy. Paste it into the last remaining bar. Same thing with your ant miner. Okay, so that's the first step. Next, right underneath where you see user ID, when you signed up for your account on Slush Pool, that's going to be the user ID that you picked. That's going to show up here. And by default, you can either leave it, the easiest way is worker name, if you're just using a solo miner. You can change the names if you want to identify problems later down the road. But for me, I just connected both of my miners under the same name, so they just show up under one miner, and that's totally fine. That works for me. But you can choose to change that name if you would like. So, again, user ID. I'm just going to copy-paste this portion here. Don't include the user ID. Copy. And this is going to be the exact same for all three bars. Same with the ant miner. Paste it the exact same into all three. And the final step password, it's optional. You can leave it blank, your, or you can just put in your default password that Slush Pool provides. So the easiest way to get set up, I'm just going to take this password again copy it and paste it into the password section under the pool configuration. 
And again, same with the app miner. Okay, after you've done the copy and pasting, these are all complete. Now you're just going to click on save. So you click on save. And again, the same thing through your Avalon. Click on save. After you have it saved, you'll be connected to the pool. And you can go to the overview on your dashboard. Now, depending on when you fired your miner up, it may or may not be fully hashing, but this will slowly show up. Your hash rate will increase here. And more importantly, your pool status is going to show up right here. This is going to show you that you're connected. So you'll see your, if you see this, you are connected. Even if it doesn't immediately show on your slush pool dashboard. So you can see the address connected primarily to the Canadian mining pool right here. We're successfully connected. And again, same thing on your ant miner. On the dashboard, slightly different here, but you're going to see your miner name. And you're going to see the pool that it's connected to right here. Same thing connected to the Canadian one for me. The final step uh, you need to do, uh, what I noticed, is there was a little uncertainty to whether I was connected or not. And what I figured out is write what it says here. Please be patient. It may take a few minutes for your newly connected device to show up. So you may need to wait five or 10 minutes. And then most important thing is your scoring hash rate is going to slowly come up here or it may uh, not display correctly right away. The simple fix to that is just a simple re-log into slush pool. And that solved all of my problems. So we're just going to do a log out, log back in one final time. After you've completed those steps on your dashboard, you should see right here your miner with a green check mark beside it. That shows that you're connected to Slush Pool and you'll be hashing away.